Hey guys, Jared Wines here, and I'm on a roof in downtown Dallas at a, at a, at a hotel, private hotel. I'm up here on the rooftop lounge with the Shelby Destroyer Beta Prototype. And so this is a blaster that I first saw uh, back at the blaster battle in June of 2021. And what I was playing with there was what they call the Alpha Prototype. Since then, they've done some refinements and some improvements and enhancements to land on this. This is what they call uh, the Beta Prototype. And one thing I'm digging about this, and if you want to come in here and look at this, is this, this blaster has an app. So um, there's a lot of different things you can do here with the app. You can see that it's showing us that we have 80% battery life uh, left. You can go into the firing rate here, and they have a standard at 80 FPS, a pro at 100 FPS, and what they call baller mode. At a <laughs> at 120 FPS, because yeah, let's just leave it in baller mode. Um, they were explaining to me too that you can change the color. So as you're adjusting the colors here within the app on the uh, little wheel, you can see the accent colors here on the actual blaster are changing as well. So there might be some different, um, you know, fun ways that you can integrate color or the color of the blaster for your type of play or something like that. But the point is that you can customize it uh, right here on the app. And also you can uh, customize how it looks. So you can have it synced to firing, you can have it chase lights, you can have solid lights. Um, you can see there that's changing as I'm, as I'm playing with it. So that's neat. Um, they were also saying that this is actually just like the blaster. This is also a prototype. So this app that I'm playing with here, um, it's not quite fully baked yet. They have more features that they want to add in later um, that they're going to, but it is functional right now and connected to the blaster to change the rate of fire, the LED color, and the LED pattern color. That all works right now. Uh, and they're just gonna be adding even more stuff to it. What they were saying is uh, they're gonna add in some leaderboards so you can connect with other Shelby Destroyer owners that might be in your area or even nationally. And they're gonna have a little uh, Shelby like uh, manufacturer store in there so that way you can get um, and ammo subscriptions is what she was saying that you can uh, sign up to just have you know a box come to your house every 30 days to get new destroyer discs or whatever they end up landing on um, so anyways let's fire the blaster um, before I do I'm just gonna point out that in this beta prototype versus the one that I played with before this one has uh, what they're calling a limited edition carbon theme this might actually also change from the one that they actually go into production with but let's just assume it'll look very similar to this. She was saying that they're going to number it in some way that they have an individual serial number and that there will only be a, a finite amount of these. So this this particular one here with the orange uh, pinstriping and the carbon fiber theme, uh, that won't be the one that everyone has. This will be one of the limited edition models. Uh, this magazine that they're showing here too, um, she was explaining to me that they've uh, refined here in the beta prototype. I don't know if I can get it out. Yeah, so I'll be really gentle with it. So you can see that there's two stacks of discs there's 60 per side for a total capacity of 120 discs. When you deplete one side of it, you have to remove the magazine, flip it around, and then you can access the other 60 that way. Um, this is all you know, prototype stuff, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can with it um, because I don't want to destroy it, even though this is a destroyer. Um, but the whole thing is that this beta, as you would expect, has taken the lessons that they've learned from the alpha and tried to make improvements. So there's magazine improvements, um, there's some slight lighting changes and dimensional changes, but the biggest change I think is the battery. So in the original version, the battery kind of came out like a big cartridge in the back. They didn't end up liking that. So now there's uh, a tiny uh, twist screw here and inside is what looks to be like a hobby grade style lithium battery, some sort of um, high power lithium battery. So all these little changes are you know, subject to final approval and final design changes. But what they're telling me is that they're getting very close maybe just weeks away uh, from finalizing what they need to go full bore on into construction. So um, what I like about this blaster, you can switch from um, semi-automatic mode where it'll fire every time that you pull the trigger or into fully automatic mode. Uh, they said that the alpha version topped out at 110 FPS, but this new beta version actually upped it a little bit to 120 FPS. And now you can fire up to eight discs per second. So if you're like me and you're just a big kid who wants to have a big cool toy, the Shelby Destroyer, that's it. You know, that's it. We're talking about uh, currently, I think they said it's $217, $220 pre-order blaster. Later, it'll probably be $280, $300 blaster. Uh, this is a serious toy, but it's for a serious enthusiast or somebody who maybe wants to take blaster plates to the next level and wants something a lot more serious and customizable than what you can maybe get on the shelf at your local um, you know, your local superstore. This is something for a hardcore hobbyist or enthusiast to play with, and that would definitely be the category I fall in, maybe the category you fall in too. So without further ado, let's put this into full auto mode, and I'm gonna fire these 
prototype discs here on the roof of this hotel and hope that security doesn't kick us out. So let's do that. So I always recommend, this is just my general recommendation from doing this for many years, always wear some sort of eye protection when you're firing a toy blaster. Um, even though these discs are harmless and if one gets you, you're not going to feel pain or going to get a wilt. This is not uh, airsoft or paintball. Um, anything flying through the air, if they hit you directly in the retina, it just never feels good. Never does. So glasses, sunglasses, whatever you got, protect your eyes when you're playing with things that fly through the air, folks. All right, so let's see what Full Auto does. First time ever, find the Shelby Destroyer Beta Prototype right here on a rooftop in Dallas. Let's go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Golly, there it goes. I'm going to flip it around. You see how the, the blaster shut up as soon as I put, pull this out too? I like that. So it got hung up a little bit on the disc, but then again, this is the prototype. It's not the full production version. The refinements are still underway. So once again, now we have 60, 60 of the destroyer discs here in the magazine. I'm going to fire them again. This time I might even bank them a little bit off the wall so you can see that. I love that about this ammo type. If you fire it at a hard surface like this, it'll actually ricochet back and forth, kind of like a pinball. It's a lot of fun. So let's try it again. Here we go with the magazine reverse around. See how quickly I did that, by the way? So this side is empty. I, I simply used my, my finger here to eject, flip it around, and put it back in. Just like that. It's locked in place. Okay, ready? <laughs> So, okay, that was fun. That was a nice, clean, nice, clean deployment of the entire uh, magazine there. And that's just fun. It's just fun. I don't, I mean, if I had to sum up like my initial thoughts of that, sitting here unloading an entire uh, blaster like that, and you hear the, the, the motors revving up like that, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, the part that's not fun is picking them up. I would rather not, but you know, that's just a part of playing with toys. No one wants to pick up the ammo off the ground. I know I sure don't. But that's why they're gonna have ammo subscription. So if you're like me and you don't wanna pick up the ammo, by all means, buy as much as you like. And you could just have uh, extra magazines setting off to the side, maybe fully loaded. Hopefully they'll sell uh, these magazines. I'll talk to them about that. That'd be a good idea too, is selling maybe accessory magazines or letting you stack up on a few of those. Because uh, if you're like me, I'd like to have two or three or four of these things sitting off to the side and just get right back into the game instantly instead of like bending over and trying to pick up 120 discs off the ground. That's not for me, I'm not the one. But um, Shelby Blaster, beta prototype here in the limited edition carbon and orange pinstriping, just a cool toy. And you can't help but be excited about uh, innovations in play, innovations in blaster play. Um, they've basically been doing it the same way for like 25 or 30 years now, plus or minus. And um, I think that when people come in and introduce new ideas and new technology, that it forces everyone to maybe raise the game a little bit. And having a blaster that's connected to a smartphone that you can adjust everything wirelessly like that, that's next level stuff. So Shelby Destroyer uh, coming soon. Maybe you'll see it on the field at uh, Blaster Battle 7 at, uh, in 2022 at AT&T Stadium. Who knows? Um, I like it.